What's up? Today I'm gonna teach you how to be sexy. So first, poke your cheek. Then get your bottle of yellow liquid. Once you've applied the pee to your hand, then you're gonna rub it and make sure you put it on your face like I do. Yeah, make sure to get it on your mouth, the nose. Oh, everywhere, get it everywhere. Oh, forehead too, wow, wow, we're going fast. Look at me, just a baddie in my natural habitat. Then we're gonna grab our foundation and apply it to the back of our hand again. We're gonna mix it with our SPF because sunscreen is very important, as you can see. Make sure to get it mixed up just like this, yeah? Keep going, just like this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're gonna take our concoction and smear it all over our face, all over it. Make sure you don't miss a single spot, okay? Keep going, yep, yep, keep going. Once you've done your roar, now we're gonna just rub it out. Make sure to just rub it in your skin to get an even, smooth, cool tone, you know? Hold up, my foundation looks real good. Grab your glue and glue your eyebrows up. I was overheating here, so I decided to cool myself down with some mist. Oh, how refreshing. I feel like a whole new person. Wow. Then grab your coloring pen and start angling your eyebrows at a 75 degree angle so you can glue them up after. It really helps. Then hit a silly jig, you know? And once you do that, get your glue. What are eyebrows without glue, you know? So we're gonna just keep spamming the glue on there. Just keep going. Once you've run out of your glue, we're just gonna shape our eyebrows downwards. Then we're gonna start contouring the other eyebrow. We've run out of glue, so I'm debating whether or not we go to the store and get some more. Um, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna angle this eyebrow downwards and rub it. This eyebrow was giving me a lot of difficulty, as you can see. It was really starting to irritate me how much I had to focus on it. Anyways, grab your nail polish, open it, um, put it on your little paintbrush and paint it right below your eyebrows. It really gives like a dagger shape to them. I love it. This eyebrow just did not want to blend. Really weird. Anyways, we're gonna do the same thing on the other eyebrow. Once we're finished with this, then you're gonna grab your blush. And yeah, you're just gonna start rubbing it on your eyeball, give it a little massage, and spread over to the other eye as well. Honestly, this is about the flick of the wrist. Who is that? Makeup is flawless. Then grab your jar of mascara and shove the brush in and out. Get a lot on there and just start smashing it on your face. <gasps> Everywhere, you want it to cover your entire face. Once you've done this, um, it's gonna take you like 10 minutes to do this, but it's super important. Once you've done it, then you're gonna grab your huge contouring brush and start contouring the heck out of your face. Just like this. Honestly, I can never get enough of contouring, so I'm gonna be doing this for like the next 30, 45 minutes. I'll see you guys in a sec. We're back, and this time we have our gloss. We're gonna start glossing our nose and our under eyes. This is to get rid of your bags if you've had a bad night of sleep. I haven't really been sleeping well lately, so we're really gonna put a lot on. Honestly, halfway through this, I decided why not just put it on my nose and my chin and my cheeks as well, you know? Like, they could use a little love as well, right? You know? The contour brush is back, and it is ready to mash up the gloss that I just applied to my face. Make sure to get every single spot, girlies. You know what I'm saying? Here we have this lip gloss, and we're gonna apply the lip gloss to my face. This is actually an interesting technique that I learned to use on my own. I'll buy a dark shade of lip gloss and realize that it really angulates your face in like a way that other things can't. The contour brush is back. Guys, you know I love my contour brush. Honestly, I sleep with her at night. I could not go anywhere without her. She is like a part of me at this point. Anyways, you're gonna use her to smooth out the lip gloss like I'm doing here. Honestly, if you're watching at this point, you might as well like and subscribe. Yeah. Here we have some rare booty blush. It is my favorite, cause you only need a little bit to go a long way with it. So we're gonna put a couple dots on our face and bring back out the blue contour brush this time to blend that bad boy out, you know? This step really tickles my nose. Anyone else? Let me know in the comments. Gosh, I look good. <sighs> then we're gonna grab a darker shade of blush and go over our eyeball and make sure to massage it in, just like I'm doing here. Then after this, you're gonna do it with the other eye and make sure to just like smash it in there real good. Get your nose a little bit too. It really accentuates your look. I'm really loving how this is turning out. What do you guys think? 
Get your freaking contour brush and start patting under your eyes again. We are just blending out the concealer a little bit more because I noticed it was a little bit splotchy. So yeah, you're gonna do that all over your face, forehead, mouth, everything, just like I'm doing here. Now grab what appears to be a chocolate bar. Um, I don't know, I really just found this on the floor and decided it might go well with my look. And yeah, just get your contour brush and powder it on. Grab more pink contour because it's a Wednesday. If you know, you know. If you don't, then you suck. Haha. <laughs> you can't sit with us! Gosh, I am starting to look like a Barbie. What can I say? The nail polish is back in play, girlies, and this time we're putting it on our nose. Only put a little bit because it's very hard to wash off. Oops, we just messed up. Ha ha ha. I'm so sorry, I know my laugh sounds weird. <laughs> The nail polish is about to dry, so grab your brush, girlies, and we're gonna be patting it out just a little bit more, just to blend it, even a tad bit more. Yep. Then start swirling your glitter gloss. This is my favorite part of the routine. Wow, I'm good at that. Gosh, I forgot how good I am. Now we're gonna be applying some of the glitter gloss under our 75 angled degreed eyebrows. Let me know if you guys would like to see any more videos like this. Here we have nail polish that we're gonna be putting on our lips. Uh, I really like the red shade. I think it accentuates the tones that I've went with on my face. Make sure to get every single inch of your lips, fill it in, and yeah. It is like a sauna up in here. It is so hot, I am about to pass out. Is that a fly over there? Now we're gonna completely redo the color of our lips because I honestly was just not feeling the other one. I kinda like this color better and I think it suits me a little bit more. Um, actually, I decided to go with a different color again. This one, I think we're gonna stick with. Yep. Ooh la la, here we have another coloring pencil that we are gonna be using on our eyebrows, or I mean eyelashes this time. Oh, it hurts. It really hurts, this is painful. Gosh, don't do it, I changed my mind. Here we have our handy watercolor set. It is amazing. These makeup brushes really give you a good eye massage. You'd actually think I'm a masseuse at this point with how much I've been massaging my eyeballs. Gosh, it hurts. I keep getting it in my eye, ow, ow, ow. Here we have another shade of eye polish. It is amazing. You're gonna line the inner corner of your eyes with it and begin to go ooh la la. I'm not even gonna lie, girlies, this process is taking a while, but it is so worth it because you're gonna be able to bag the man of your dreams afterwards. Grab your glue and start putting it on your pet spider because he likes it. Now you're gonna make your spider hit some dance moves for you like I am. Now we're stretching him a little bit. I noticed he was overheating from the dance, so I decided to cool him down with a nice little breeze and shake him violently. Back with the watercolors because I consider myself more of an artist than a makeup tutorial person. I love my spider so much, I am now going to put him in my eyeball. He was just refusing to cooperate here, but eventually I got him, I put him down, and here he is. I also decided it would be fun to stab my eye, apparently. Then we're gonna take some black gloss polish and start polishing our spider. He's really feeling it right now, um, as you guys can see. I decided the first layer wasn't enough, so I went back for some more to just touch it up even a tad bit more. This is my, I don't know, honestly. At this point, everything is starting to blend in. It all looks the same to me. I am starting to put it in my eyeball because I don't know. You wanna get it deep in there so you get an eye infection. Then you're gonna grab your other spider. This one's actually named Jerry and you're gonna just put him on your eyeball again. Moisturize him with some gloss. What's an artist without her watercolors? They're back, I love them and we're gonna be doing our eyeballs with them now. Now we're gonna mash things up for the millionth time. Just keep mashing underneath your eyes with them. Wow, we're gonna have some more gloss here. Uh, I think this is layer 379, um, but you can never have enough layers of it. Wow, this look is just really coming together. I'm gonna give you guys a thumbs up. Um, yeah, you better like the video. Now we're moving on to the bottom lashes. They need a little bit of love as well. So yeah, you're gonna just touch them up. Here we have a daughter for our fake freckles. You're just gonna dot them on very lightly. We want this look to be a little bit more natural. Um, so yeah, just make sure to go lightly with it and do a ton of them. Don't forget the other side like I'm doing here. Don't forget to pat them out. The sauna was turning back up, so you know we had to cool ourselves down again. 
I noticed waving my hands like this really helps with the cooling process. Anyways, this is the final look, guys. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Love you. Bye.